Did you know that the art of glass blowing, which we see as a mesmerizing dance between artist and molten material today, was discovered almost 2,000 years before the birth of Christ? Yes, that's right. The magic of glass blowing has been captivating humanity for over 4,000 years. In the beginning, around 3,500 BCE, humans first interacted with glass in Mesopotamia. However, these early encounters were not with the beautiful clear glass we know today, but with a naturally occurring glass called obsidian, formed in the intense heat of volcanic eruptions. Fast forward to 1500 BCE, the Egyptians, ever the innovators, began producing glass on a significant scale. They used a technique known as core forming, where glass is gathered around a shaped core and then allowed to harden. This method was used to create small vessels and perfume bottles. Moving on to the first century BCE, we arrive at the birthplace of glass blowing as we know it today, the Roman Empire. In a coastal city of Syria, an innovative craftsman discovered that by introducing a tube into a molten glass blob and inflating it, he could shape the glass into anything he desired. This method revolutionized the glass industry, making the production faster and cheaper. And thus, glass became accessible to the common man for the first time. The Romans, with their vast empire, spread the art of glass blowing across Europe and the Middle East. By the Middle Ages, Venice had become the epicenter of the glass blowing industry. The Venetians improved the Roman techniques, creating clear glass and later introducing the concept of blowing glass into a mold. As we step into the 17th century, we find the invention of lead glass in England. This type of glass, containing lead oxide, is highly refractive, making it perfect for fine glassware and optical lenses. With the dawn of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, the glass blowing industry transformed once again. The invention of the steam engine made it possible to produce glass on an unprecedented scale. In the 20th century, the art of glass blowing experienced a renaissance. Artists began to see the potential of glass as a medium for artistic expression. This led to the studio glass movement, where artists began to work independently, creating unique hand-blown pieces. In conclusion, the art of glass blowing, from its humble beginnings in ancient Mesopotamia to its modern-day status as an artistic medium, has a rich and captivating history. It has evolved from a precious and rare material, accessible only to the elite, to a common material used in everyday life. And now it has come full circle, being highly valued once again for its artistic potential. This 4,000-year journey of molten sand transforming into mesmerizing shapes tells a story of human innovation, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of beauty. It's a testament to our enduring fascination with this magical material and a reminder that even the most common objects in our lives carry the weight of centuries of history.